Hi guys, if you see here, I have secant in 0th index and I have secant in 4th index. Now, I want to print the index of this first secant. Okay, I want to return or print the index of this secant. So, this is what index of method will do guys. It is an array method that returns index of first occurrence of specified value in an array. Okay, and it will return minus 1 if the value is not found. So, let's check that. Let me write here console.log error dot index of index of and guys this will take two parameters first parameter is the value that you want to find or that you want to search and second parameter is starting index which is optional starting index is nothing but from which index from what index inside the array you want to search the value okay for example if i'm writing here srikanth right please find srikanth and Second parameter is starting index. Start searching for secant from 0th index. Okay. And give me the first occurrence of secant. Right. So I will come here. I will write node array.js. Okay. Yeah. You see, guys, we got 0. Why? Because it started from 0th index and right away it found the secant. And that's why we got 0. And by default, if you don't provide this parameter, which is optional, it will start searching from beginning of the array. So I can remove this one. It will still print me zero. Yeah, you see guys, we got zero. Okay. Now let's say I want to start searching from first index. That means this is zero. This is one from first index. I want to start searching. So in that case, what we can do is that I can put comma here and I can write one. So it will start searching from here. And then let me print that one. Yeah, you see we got four. So that means zero, one, two, three, four. This is the fourth index. But it started from second index. It immediately got the secant at the fourth index. That's why we got the output as four. Now let's say I will give something else. Maybe I'll give here something called Peter. Okay. Which doesn't exist in the array. Now it should print minus one. Yeah. You see it printed minus one because that doesn't exist in the array. Now interesting thing is what is the difference between index of and includes because Array.includes method will also take two parameters. One is the value that you want to search and second parameter is the starting index from where you want to search. Right. Both are same. So guys, the difference is Array.include method will return Boolean value, either true or false. If the specified value is present in the array, it will return true. If it is not present, it will return false. So let me show you that. I will come here and I will write here includes array dot includes okay and i want to search if peter is there inside this array or not from first index so let me execute this one you see we got false so this is the main difference between array dot includes and array dot index of now let me change this back to index of so let me write here index of yeah awesome now next thing is i want to print the index of this chikant right not the first one but the last one i want to print the index of this chikant to do this we have one more method that is last index of so it is an array method that returns index of last occurrence of a specified value in an array and it will also return minus one if the value is not found okay so let's see that let me remove all these things okay and let me write here last index of so let me replace this with last index of okay yeah and this will take two parameters again first parameter is the value that you want to search second parameter is starting index from what index you want to search the value okay yeah now let me write here strikant i will write here strikant and let's run this one so let's write node array.js yeah you see guys when we did the same thing with index of method we got zero because zeroth index but when we are doing it with last index of we are getting four because it will return last occurrence of specified value that is strikant okay and one more thing is in case of index of method by default it will start searching from beginning of array okay from starting of array but here in case of last index of it will start searching from end of the array that is how it will print last occurrence of value okay so let me give the starting index i'll put comma here and let's say i will write two okay now let's run this one you see guys we got output as zero why because we have given starting index as two okay so zero one two it will start searching from here but it will start moving backward that means it will come to this place and finally it will come to this place so it printed zero okay this is this is very important to remember when you give any parameter 
it will start searching from that parameter in backward manner yeah and guys this both index of and last index of will use strict equality that means let's say i will write here capital s okay capital s shikant now i'll print this one yeah you see we got minus 1 because here we have shikant with small s but this is capital s so this is case sensitive and next thing is let's say i want to check if string 2 is present or not okay not number string right so i'll print this one it will print minus 1 because this is string actually and this is number so what i'm trying to tell is that it should be same data type and it should be case sensitive okay so i hope you guys got the clarity this is it for the video guys don't forget to subscribe i'll see you in the next video thank you